Hi, I am Jerry and I have a money saving tip for you. Do it yourself computer repair. It's really easy, just follow this video and I can show you how to uh, replace a motherboard in your laptop computer. So stay tuned. <music> Hi, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Um, we're going to work on the laptop computer again today. That first motherboard I ordered, it had a blown circuit in it, so we uh, sent it back. Now, I, I bought it through eBay and I went through PayPal. So the company that I bought it through was, uh, I just want to point out, they were really fast at responding to getting me a uh, return slip. I got it sent back that same day and they were very prompt about giving me my refund so I was able to go right back on eBay and find another motherboard and this one's supposed to be new uh, a new motherboard um, uh, but for twenty dollars cheaper than that used one so let's go through the unboxing of this new motherboard and let's look at it okay I got my trusty box knife and then we're gonna go ahead and open this box instructions and my uh, slip put the paper over here right now okay here is the motherboard take the box out it's sealed it looks like a new motherboard now before I break the seal I want to make sure that that component is not broken okay it's right in this area right here now this is supposed to be a brand new motherboard never been out of the wrapper yet so let's um, I'm, I'm gonna go get a magnifying glass I'm gonna look at this component to see if it's um, uh, busted uh, just to see how legit this is because there's a lot of these motherboards where the uh, resistor blows and that it's just a little itty bitty teeny tiny resistor that can fit on a, the, the head of a, a pin a straight pin and uh, not the tip of the straight pin but the head they're really tiny and uh, it blows and when it blows you have no audio on your laptop and you it also renders your ethernet and your USB ports uh, blown so and I found this out just by uh, looking on e uh, or YouTube and researching on YouTube see I'm not a techie I don't I've never done computer repair I've tinkered around but I'm just a guy trying to save a buck and so I'm showing you guys what I'm going through here so it looks good so far so we'll get back to this once I found the uh, magnifying glass no magnifying glass so we're gonna have to look at this very carefully okay it's intact it is a good motherboard okay so we're going to go ahead and put it in so let's go ahead and tear down the uh, computer and let's go ahead and tear down the computer and put the motherboard in so stay tuned ok 
Okay, before I do that, I'm going to take the battery out. And I'm ordering a new battery, so this one will be toast. So go ahead and turn that back over. And we'll take these three screws out. And remove the the um lap, or the keyboard. Now this you just pop these little pins right here and that comes right out. So you just want to take your your uh, keyboard and you want to set it aside. And since these are the screws to the keyboard, I'll set them with the keyboard. Now, we got some plugs here. So we're going to undo this plug right here. Okay, that's unplugged. Uh, this is unplugged. This is unplugged. That's unplugged. Well, we can unplug that later. But this has some tabs right there. You pull those tabs and this slides right on out. Just like that. Okay, now we got to take this screw out. This is the so-called hidden screw in the keyboard. Now, we, oh, we want to take, we'll take that off later. But now we're going to go and flip it over because we got to take a bunch of screws off on the back. So first of all, let's take this off. We'll set it right here. And we'll go ahead and pop this and pop that and that just pops right out. These are your memory chips. And you got that one. Yep. We got those and that pops out. Okay. Now, uh, we got all of these um, screws to take out. So I'm just going to go start back here. Okay, we got to take this cover off. That goes to the mother or the hard drive, and the hard drive has a little screw right there. And that screw is smaller than the rest, so we'll set that aside. And we'll just pull the motherboard that way and lift it out. And I'm going to actually set this screw on the hard drive. And then you got a hidden screw in here. And you got these two screws. And this one. This is considered a hidden screw. Here. Okay, now you've got three screws in the battery cave compartment here, here, and here. Take those out. And those are little teeny tiny screws, so we separate those from the rest of them. You don't want to try to shove a big screw in there, it just won't fit. Okay, now. Uh, got this this screw out so my hard drive or, wait no we got to take that screw out yeah it's out no yep a small screw floppy drive or the uh, CD-ROM uh, comes out it's just held in by one screw so that slides out and then you got three screws that are right here on uh, inside of the a hard drive or not the hard drive but 
It's the uh, CD-ROM. And they're just unique screws. There's no other ones like these on the computer. So they're easily identifiable. Okay, now, I think I have everything, make sure, nope, one more screw, and bye George, I think we got it, okay. No, there is another screw in there. Wait. This one right here. If your if any part of your computer gives some resistance, don't force it. There's a screw somewhere you got to lift off. See now how easy that was? is just one screw that was left so we're going to park that up there we're going to set that aside and then we're going to finish unplugging these components this is your modem you want to uh, Remove that little screw that holds it in, and you remove. You just unplug that modem and set it aside. And you got this plug. That is your screen. You unplug that. And then you have a screw right here, a hidden screw right here on the motherboard itself so you want to be sure you take that screw out and this should be it, it should lift right out of there but now here's the trick, you want to lift it carefully uh, so as you don't break this little um, wheel, the volume wheel and this uh, these uh, ports over here kind of slide into a little uh, into the uh, case itself. So you just pull that right on out. There you go. All right. And then on the other side of the motherboard, you have your um, this unplugs. Okay, now we're going to set the computer aside for a minute. Because we've got to take some components off here and put them on the new motherboard. So we're going to take the uh, wireless card. And we're going to take it off. It plugs right into the motherboard, so take it off carefully. See, there's a little plug right there that it plugs into. And this is just the wireless card. We set that down there. Now we've got to take this component off. This is your cooling system. So, uh, first of all, let's take these two screws off of your CPU. Your new motherboard does not have a CPU, so you got to uh, change everything over to your new motherboard. Okay, I'm going to put make sure those screws are there and you got some screws right here right there and this thing comes off in one component so you got a couple of screws that hold your cooling fan on now your cooling fan just lifts right on out of there. There's your cooling fan. And this lifts right on out of there. Okay. And you set those aside because you're going to put those on your new motherboard. Now your CPU, you have a little, you have this little, um, it will, a little slotted, uh, 
turn thing right here, that locks your, your CPU in place. So I'm just going to turn it to unlock it and lift this right on out of here. Okay, now we make sure we got everything, everything we need. So this motherboard's toast. Now the components I was talking about that are blown are right here. So we're going to take this motherboard and set it aside. And we're going to take this new motherboard and carefully set it on here, this way. We're going to put the CPU on the same way we took it off. And then we're going to go ahead and turn that on. This locks your CPU in place. Okay. Take your cooling thing and put that on there. You got your little screws that you put in there. This goes right on those clips right there. Plug that back in on the new motherboard. This is a good time to clean out your fan. I had already cleaned my fan out earlier. Okay. So we're going to carefully set this down in the laptop. Make sure all your lines are out of the way. I'm going to handle this by the fan so as not to do too much handling of the uh, motherboard. Plugs all plug back in. We have this hidden screw that goes right there. Okay. And this card goes back in there. And these wall wires scrunch down in these this little uh, uh, rubber holder okay and then we've got this little screw right here that actually holds that down into place okay Make sure all the plugs are plugged back in. Okay, now we put this part on. Don't forget this piece. It sits right there. And then the motherboard set, or this uh, top, sits right down on there. OK. 
Okay, and we've got this plug here, which is actually the plug to the power cord. This plug here goes to the speakers. And don't forget to plug in this plug right here, which is your uh, touch mouse. And it just slides right in there. And make sure it's all the way in, and you just lock that in place. And uh, you got that hidden uh, screw that goes in there. Right there. And then you got your keyboard. And the keyboard slides right back into that little place right there. Make sure it's on it's open. Now you shouldn't have to reload all your stuff on your 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 hard drive. Yeah, everything's on that's on your hard drive should be on your hard drive, so it, uh, it all should work just fine. Okay, now the keyboard goes in at an angle like that and locks, it goes right, oop, let's get this in place. That's a grounding piece. Okay, now we have those screws that we got for the laptop which is right over here or for the keyboard so we're going to put the screws in for the keyboard we put the strip back on because we're done with this side Now we flip it over and we put all those screws back in the other side. Up. Okay, and now we slide that in. I still have to find the screw for that spot, but uh, I want to go ahead and put my card in. We plug it in right here. And we plug it in right there. We have these two little screws which hold it in. And we put our memory chips in. And those just slide right in and click right in. It just See there's a groove right there. And you match it up with a groove right there. And you just pop those in and just seat those down to where it locks in and this is done so we can take the uh, the cover and put it back on okay and let's put the uh, uh, let's see there's a hidden screw right here we got to put that in Now, we can take and slide the motherboard in. All 
Okay, slides right in and it locks into place with this little screw, little teeny tiny screw. And then you can go ahead and put the cap on. The cover. And if you want, you can put your screws in over here. And we have these little screws right here. So it takes about a half hour, 45 minutes to change out a uh, motherboard on a computer from finish to end or uh, start to finish. And I got this little screw. This is the lock for the CD-ROM. Lots of little screws. Keeping my fingers crossed. I sure hope this works. I do not want to have to send it back because this my computer's been broken down for about two years. Been waiting to get just enough money to buy a uh, new motherboard, and I finally got just a little bit of cash to buy a new motherboard, and now it's in. Okay, and you have two screws on the back right here. And then we're done, and we'll go ahead and plug it in and fire it up. Oh, no extra screws. Yay. Okay. All right, we put the battery in. Now we're going to plug it in and turn it on and see what happens. My cat decided to come and help me. Lucy, what are you doing up here? So far, so good. It's firing up, but I don't hear any audio yet. I may have to go into the drivers or into the systems and tell it to load the drivers for the audio. Well, it's loading Windows, so and I heard a little bit of audio, so we'll see how it goes from here. Because that's when I noticed I had problems initially is when I lost my audio. Hey, I got audio. It works. Yippee ki -yay. I'm a happy camper. Well, it's done. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and go and eBay and let them know that I'm satisfied with the product. So, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen, here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm uh, happy that you hung with me on this project. Uh, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.